I am Groot. I am Groot. Hey guys, welcome back to Brophy Time. This is Angel Brophy. I'm gonna hear doing a review for Guardians of the Galaxy, and man, this movie is just awesome. It's just awesome. It's fun, has a lot of action, and let's just run through it a little bit. The main plot point is that uh, we start with Peter Quill, and he's basically like a raider, and he finds an uh, orb, and this orb is basically being pursued by several people at the same time, but he just wants it to catch in on it. So, Along the way, he finds uh, basically stumbles upon people who want it for their own purposes, including Gamora, and then he stumbles upon a rocket and Groot who want, want him to cash in a reward for him. And they get caught and go to prison together. Wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> so they get to know each other and they just basically team up to get away from the prison and they gradually find out what this orb is about. Now, the movie is just awesome. It has that feeling of um, a Star Wars meets Star Trek meets Indiana Jones meets, uh, I don't know, it's just a lot of uh, basically genres smashing together, but they work really, really well. Now, Peter Quill is this just uh, uh, badass, or, well, he thinks he's a badass, but he really is, uh, just no one in has really taken notice of it, to him, and he, and you get the feeling of that because he, when he always says I'm Star Lord, everyone is like, really Star Lord? Come on! <laughs> but he's just really ingenious in how he fights. I mean, uh, when he fights or he's in a sticky situation, he always finds something in his like gadget, uh, or uh, uh, he always has a gadget basically hidden up his sleeve that will help him get through any sort of situation. And you uh, see that he's a genius in getting out of sticky situations. Uh, then there's Gamora, who's basically the deadliest woman in the universe. And uh, you get that feeling because when uh, they're in prison, uh, you feel that tension where everybody like really hates her because apparently she killed several of the family members uh, of, of some inmates. And also, since she has a reputation of being uh, Thanos' lackey, or daughter in this case, uh, it uh, really affects her. Now, uh, she hates Thanos because of what she did, uh, he did to her when she was growing up. So you get the sense that she's just a person who hasn't felt any sort of love throughout her life or hasn't experienced bondage with either friends, family, or anything. So once she finds this group of misfits uh, and starts basically hanging out with them, she realizes that she uh, is able to actually have those feelings without any sort of uh, backlash towards that. Then there's Rocket and Groot, and man, Rocket is the raccoon for real. Man, this guy, just when he has a gun in his hand, he's just the perfect marksman and he goes like crazy, he's like <sighs> So, Rocket is just playing awesome, he's a genius, uh, he always knows what he needs to build something to get out of a certain situation or just make it a little bit more explosive. And believe me, if you have some sort of synthetic arm, leg or eye, he's gonna need it. For real. <laughs> now. Groot. Groot is basically, uh, he's, if uh, Rocket would be uh, Don Quixote, Groot is his Sancho Panza. They're just a team together and uh, from the get-go you sense that they have some sort of brotherhood or some sort of, you know, uh, uh, bond. And they really care for each other and you uh, get that feeling by the end of the movie. And uh, basically Groot is just there to, in a way, keep company and keep uh, Rocket in check. He's just a, a great character, even though he's just as I am Groot. He's just a badass character, and you see through his eyes also like uh, a sort of nobility towards him, uh, and also like a, uh, he has kind of like a child's mind. He's just amazed with a lot of things, and he doesn't really uh, process like evil things, you know. And then there's Drax the Destroyer. Now 
Jurassic Destroyer is just that. I would describe him kind of like a Punisher from space. He's basically a guy who his family got killed by the main baddie on the movie, Ronan, the accuser. So uh, he's just basically angry and he went basically a little bit mad and he just wants to kill Ronan. Just kill him, right? And uh, he, uh, he stumbles upon this, uh, this group uh, with Star-Lord, Gamora, Rocket and Groot and basically tags along because he knows that uh, they're gonna be basically chased by Roman. So he wants to just kill him. And uh, the fun part about his character is this just he's really awkward in the way that he has kind of like a barbaric mentality. So when he reacts, he doesn't know how to react to sarcasm. When they say something sarcastic towards him, he just says something back that you're like, really, you're, you're really stupid. <laughs> but he's a fun character and he has a lot of, uh, when he throws down, he throws on those badass and throws some mean punches as well. Now, Ronan the Accuser, uh, he's basically someone who just wants to destroy a specific planet because he feels that he was oppressed. And, uh, and uh, the, this planet and his planet have had some sort of uh, peace treaty uh, uh, done recently, but he's not a he doesn't agree with that, so he just wants to destroy this planet, and for that he seeks Thanos' help. So reluctantly, he's kind of like a, a Thanos' a puppet in a way, but he doesn't really like that. So he's also after the orb uh, to find out what it is and see if he can use it against Thanos and to destroy this planet. But the movie is just plain awesome. Uh, also, the 80s feel to it is just awesome because. Well, Peter Quill is a child of the 80s. He, when he got abducted at the beginning of the movie, it was 1988. So whenever he has a change of mood or even his references come from the 80s and back. So he, we get a, just a really a lot of 80s reference uh, situation. There's one part when, where he's like being hassled by someone and goes like, hey, let me go Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You know, stuff like that. And also the music, whenever he's in a specific mood, you hear a track either from the 70s or the 80s. So it's just an awesome uh, mood uh, setting that you get from that. Well, guys, that's my review for Guardians of the Galaxy. Hope you liked it. Uh, please like the video, subscribe, and also leave comments on what did you think of the, about the movie. Uh, now, the sequel is already being worked on by James Gunn. He actually... Uh, send out a message, a really heartfelt message for, for the success of this movie of Guardians of the Galaxy. So tell me what do you think about that. And uh, well, whenever you want to get your some brophy time, just subscribe, like, and remember, I am Groot. <laughs>